Today our world is facing pandemic situations because of the virus COVID-19. I hope this video may be help to fight against the COVID-19. Let's welcome to our channel. Let's start the video. I done this project which is more effective and also very under low cost price. It's I make this project which is only under 150 rupees only. Let's go to the project how I can make this. Yes, I have to have the proximity sensor. It was another price of 35 rupees. And the transistor tip 32C which the cost is around 30 rupees. And the resistance, it's one kilo ohm, its cost is just one rupees. And DZ water pump, submerged one, that is cost of was 70 rupees. And yeah, aquarium tube, it's just meters only 10 rupees. All those electronic components are buy in nearby electronic shops. And also you can buy in Amazon also. They are linked under the description. For this project, I use the water bottle from Sky. Fix the aquarium tube at square your coat size and make sure it will be tightly fixed. Mark the center of the cap, bottle cap, and also another one. The one is for the accurate tube, and another one is for the power supply of the water pump. I using the soldering iron to hold it. Here I am using the wire. If the white one is the negative, and the blue one is the positive. I explain also you need any technical words to explain this project because it's made to help those who are doesn't know about the alternative pro, alternative components also very helpful fix that proximity sensor by the help of glue gun and also the transistor. I bend the inch of the proximity sensor and the transistor for the connection purpose. This is the transistor, I bend it. Negative of the motor is connected to the point two of the proximity sensor, and the resistance is the connected to the third point of the proximity sensor and the first point of the transistor. And the positive of the motor is connected to the point two of the transistor. Point 3 of the transistor is connected to the point 1 of proximity sensor. Now the connection process is almost done. The remaining one part is the power supply. You can either using the USB port by the help of using board using power bank and also the charging cable type. 
here I'm using the 3.5 volt battery. For my suggestion, you may use the charger cable to charging this up. The negative one is connected to the second point of the proximity sensor and the positive one is connected to the third point of the transistor. Now the connection process is completed fully. Make sure the connection is properly worked. The supply is on. Yeah, if you cross the circuit, then another one light is also blinked. Now the connection is okay. Right. Turn the tube to facing toward the proximity sensor. Yeah, it's working properly. I hope this video will be very useful and easy to understand. You apply this project in all shops, office and schools anywhere as you want. Stay home, stay safe and don't forget to subscribe our channel and make sure to like the channel. Thank you so much for